I've been on the lookout for a software that can help me automate my email marketing in every aspect. This right here is Sago Mail, an email marketing software allowing you to build landing pages, campaigns, automations, and much more. So let's check it out. So this is the Sago Mail platform, and we start here on the dashboard where you get a quick overview an easy welcome message here, but otherwise you have an overview of your growth, engagement, and much more. And Sagomail is mainly focused on e-commerce side. This doesn't mean you can't use it if you don't have an e-commerce site, but they have a lot of benefits for e-commerce sites and e-commerce stores. So you can see here that it is telling me to integrate a Shopify store or a big commerce store. Just to begin with, I want to show you the integrations because in here you can see that they integrate with Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Optimized Press, and so much more. So if you're using any of these types of plugins or CMS, then you're good to go with Sagomil. Otherwise, they always have the Sapia integration that you can use. But let's jump right into campaigns. Within campaigns, we have a regular campaign, we have sequences and A-B split testing. So here you can see that we can create a regular campaign, A-B split campaign and sequence. Let's for now just create a regular campaign. Let's give it the name YouTube video and then create the list all subscribers. Let's save and continue. So here we have my own information. Let's call the subject again, YouTube video. We'll not add a pre-header and just save and continue. So here we are actually getting blocked because we're using a Gmail and we have to use another type of email. So let's get back to this a little bit later. They also have a simple list overview here where you can import your contacts, you can duplicate them and update them. When you import, it has to be CSV or text format. Would be nice to be able to import from MailChimp, ActiveCampaign or a different type of program. We can also visit the list here where we can just again see the subscribers, segments and our custom fields. So within segments, we can create a segment which is based on a set of parameters or requirements set by you. So you can see here that we can say that the email needs to be this value or the first name needs to be this value. We can also use campaign action to say that they need to have opened this specific campaign. We can also add e-commerce actions that they need to have orders placed. So let's say that you want to send an email out to everyone who has placed an order. So say thank you for your order. We now have these new types of sales for instance. That is how you do that. You create a segment in here and then you go to the campaigns and send the email or the campaign to that specific segment. Works very well and I will also show how you can do this with automations. Within the list, we can duplicate it, update it, and when we update it, then we set some different information about this specific campaign. But let's move on to automations, because within automations is where everything happens. So let's create a new automation. When it is you set up an automation, you can choose to either build from a template or you can just start from scratch. I want to choose this template that is basically just a welcome template. So up here, I have to change this form to a form that they have signed up for. What I really would like to be able to do here is to choose a list. So every time they were added to a specific list, then this automation started and that is not possible. You have to use either tags or forms. So before we move on with this welcome automation, let's go to the form section. Here we can create a simple form. We can choose whether it should be inline, a model, a floating box or floating bar. I'll just choose inline. And here you can see that we have a lot of different types of templates we can use. Not super modern, but we can always make them more modern ourselves. So here we have our form and you can click on the different elements here to edit them. And out here we have the different settings, but you also have a little toolbar up here you can use. So for now, I'll just keep it as is and I'll save the form so we can move on with the automations. Just before we move on to the automations, you can see that you here can send them to a specific page URL. You can make them stay. What list should they be added to? The display options here. So if it was a model, you could choose that every time they try to exit the page, then we show this model. It can be that they need to sign up for your newsletter or they just need to sign up to stay tuned for all of your news. 
We can also set timing and a small percentage. So when they have scrolled maybe 50% of the page, you show the model. Here's how you embed it. Very simple. You can choose JavaScript, HTML, or you can just share the URL to the form. We can see the reports of the form right now. No one. And that's it. Now let's move back to the automations here. Go to the form updated and then choose the newest form we have just created. So now every time they sign up via this form, it will wait one hour and then we will send a campaign. And here we can choose to send out a sequence or we can just choose to send out a normal campaign. As I haven't set up a new sequence yet, I cannot choose any. You can easily create one here. Let's call this one sequence. Save and continue. Again, we will be stopped here by the Gmail, but that is how you do that. Now an interesting element is the landing page module. The landing page module is basically a duplicate of the campaign module. So you can be very elaborative in the way that you design your landing pages. But just keep in mind that whatever you see here is also what is possible within the campaigns. So now let's start and let's just call this planter.io. Let's choose all subscribers, save and continue. Now, as you saw before with the forms, we also have landing page templates. And here it is mixed between some old templates and some newer ones. I like this one over here. I can always preview it to see how it looks, how it works. And then we can choose to go with this one. So now we have chosen a template and we will now go to the drag and drop editor. And this will be this exact same thing you see within the campaigns. So you can always see down here how it looks on mobile, how it looks on desktop, or you can preview it. Otherwise, then it's very simple. You can see that we can edit the text here. Let's call this one YouTube video instead. We can go up here and say Sacco mail review. We can change the images. We can change the buttons where they link to. We can insert videos. And if I just close this down for a moment, then you can see the different modules you can work with. So we can insert images, menu, text, pure HTML. So this is the way that you can really customize it, but you can customize it a lot by not using the HTML component right here. We can insert our form that we just built. So let's try and do that by clicking on it here and then we can basically build a form. So it is actually not showing the form that I already built. This is a completely new form. So I should be able to add this form to a list, but it seems that I cannot add this to a list. So this must be just a pure lead sign up that will be saved in a list somewhere. But for this form, we can add more options here and then you can really customize it though only with borders, padding, background color, text color, and so on. But that is also about what you need to design this form. I feel like I'm missing a way to insert the form we have already built, which is then linked up to the list as well. But maybe they will add that later on. We can also add a menu here and this menu can then have items. So you can build basically a website using Sacco mail. I would not recommend it, but you can if you want to. So you have multiple landing pages and then you use a menu to link in between these landing pages. You can also use the menu to link to external links like a roadmap. If you have a new site somewhere or just a help desk, for instance, that is also possible by adding simple menu items here. And then we add the URL as well. Again, we can style more or less how it looks like we are limited. And what I'm really missing here is just custom pure CSS, just a field where I can just write my own CSS and override it because then I can really customize the look to make it look and match my own design and website. But now when we are satisfied, we can save this landing page and then we can exit. So now we have the content ready. Now we can then either put it up on a URL. It can be a subdomain. It can also be a primary domain. You can see you just need to add this a record here. We can set it up as a redirect URL and we can add Google Analytics. What I'm interested in knowing here is whether we can add Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel because it doesn't seem that we can. Looks like we can only add one of them. And I would really like to be able to add Google Analytics 4 as Google Analytics Universal is being outfaced. But now let's just keep this as is and publish the landing page. 
So now we have the landing page ready. We can then go and view it. And as you can see here, we have our menu. We have the form that we entered here and the video and then basically just how the landing page was. That is how you build landing pages, but that is also how you build campaigns. You can set up sequences of campaigns and the sequence of campaign is basically where we send one email, wait three days, send another email, wait two days, send a third email and so forth. This you can make with email sequences, but you can also just build an automation that does this for you. Furthermore, as you saw, then we can A-B test so we can send different types of emails to the different types of target groups or the audiences or the segments that you have set up. So there are a lot of possibilities. And the last thing I just want to show you is within automations, because as mentioned earlier, Sagomail is really perfect for e-commerce sites. So out here, what I really noticed and liked is the different types of templates. So they have, of course, post purchase. They have thank you for the first time customers and so on, but they also have abandoned cart. So this is basically a way for you to send an email to everyone who abandoned their cart. Of course, you need to be able to have their email in order to send this, but you can always figure out a way to attach that email. You can ask for it earlier in your flow and then integrate with Sagomail. But before we can do this, then we're sent to the integrations where we need to connect our store. And as I showed you before, they have a lot of integrations. And as I will discuss just in a moment, they're adding even more integrations. Now using Sagomail, you can't use it completely free. However, they have a 14 day free trial where you can completely test out Sagomail to see whether it's for you or not. And then when you have hopefully decided that Sagomail is for you, then it is that you can sign up for the paid plan. And when we compare the paid plan to the alternatives, it is quite cheap. Within Sagomail, then you pay for the amount of contacts that you have. And it is the same we see with the alternatives in the industry. And talking about alternatives, the first alternative is InCharge, a product I have previously reviewed on this channel. InCharge can do a lot of the same things as Sagomail. However, you cannot build landing pages within InCharge, though their automations are much more elaborated. This means that within automations using InCharge, you can use integrations and you can use a lot of actions from these integrations. This is not something that's currently possible within Sagomail. You can use the e-commerce functionality because Sagomail is very much pointed towards e-commerce sites. The other alternative is Active Campaign. An Active Campaign is just the first choice within this industry of email marketing software. Because Active Campaign not only have they been in the industry for so long, they have a huge platform where you can build elaborated automations, you can build campaigns, of course, landing pages, and overall Active Campaign just integrate with everything that you can imagine. So Active Campaign is definitely the enterprise solution within this industry. But I will say that Sagomail has positively surprised me with great functionality. So I think if Sagomail continues to improve in this direction, then we will see some interesting integrations and an interesting product as well. Now to the future of Sagomail. The first thing they're working on is new form templates. And often with these forms, we need them to match our design. So the templates is not necessarily for us to just plug and play, but it is a good way for us to have a start. So we don't need to design these forms from scratch. So it'll be interesting to see what type of templates they will come up with. The next thing that I noticed is lead scoring. And lead scoring is a module not necessarily meant for e-commerce websites. This is great for websites who doesn't do the same thing as e-commerce sites, but they are focused on generating leads. And lead scoring works in a way that we can say every time a contact has the lead score on 50 or above, then we need to contact them. And the way they get to 50 or above is that we set up rules. So one rule can be that if this contact visit the pricing page, then we assign 25 points. If they also visit the contact page, then we add another 25 points. Now they have 50 points and we will now contact them. Of course, there needs to be a point where they give us the contact details so we can contact them. 
but this you can easily do with pop-ups, email forms here and there, newsletter signups and so forth. This is a really great module for websites who are not necessarily e-commerce sites. Furthermore, then they are adding more integrations to Pably and to PrestaShop because it is still focused for e-commerce sites. So PrestaShop is missing in the integrations and they will be adding that. And the Pably is basically the same as Sapier. So we will have even more options to integrate Sago Mail. Furthermore, then they are adding team collaboration. And I couldn't find a lot of information about what this exactly is. But I understand that it is a sense that you can, of course, invite your team members, but you can also work simultaneously on campaigns, lists and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to see how they will develop this feature for us to really test and use it. And their roadmap is really packed with features. They are really working on a lot of great modules. I do hope that they will take the landing page module to the next step. So we get a more elaborative landing page builder that will make it possible to just build more outstanding landing pages. Now, after using Sacco Mail for some time, I really like the UX. It's easy to use and it's pleasant for the eyes. Then they have a lot of elaborative automations and a lot of great integrations to support this. Though I will say that a lot of their landing page templates are quite outdated and their landing page builder could really use some extra functionality to take it to the next step. I have really been impressed by Sacco Mail. If you're running an e-commerce site, then Sacco Mail is a must for you. It can only increase your conversion rate. I want to give Sacco Mail four stars. It's really an impressive product the only place it falls short is in their landing page builder and missing integrations in the automations. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.